He's coming over. All right, so <laughs> I got while we get the video up, I got a personal first question for Jackie. How badass okay. does he feel right now? <laughs> Jackie, you feel good? Yes. He says he feels very good. <laughs> nice. So I'm just trying to get the screen engine up here. We're just going to throw this in the background. No refinement. Yeah. As uh, the boys from Mind Sanity join us, guys, here on Base Street TV. We'll just yeah, you take over Wreck-It Ralph's place. There you go. Cool. We're now Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. So to introduce everyone real quick, let's do this because maybe people haven't seen your wonderful faces before. This is Penguin on the microphone at the moment. I think he's going to be speaking on behalf of the team. He's the captain of My Insanity and an awesome dude all around. I believe that's Joshi immediately behind you and Stardust in the yep. far back kind of creeping about, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty much. And then uh, Sam Kane is like right next to him, but you can't quite see him. Let me just turn the camera a little bit. There's Sam. There's Kane. All right. So I'm just kind of blocking everyone. I'm just going to try to like go down like this so people can be seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get into anything of questions like chat may or may not have, a question for you guys. Did you expect to get this far in the uh, team league? Are you like totally stoked? Was this like all according to plan? Like what is, you know, you're going into the finals. <laughs> Um, it's definitely something that we knew was possible. Uh, basically, they asked if we thought we could get to the finals. Um, it's definitely something that was possible, and uh, basically we thought we had a decent, okay chance against Acer beforehand, and then they decided not to field their foreigners, so we were pretty confident. Yeah, oh, they're Koreans, sorry, they didn't field their Koreans. Well, they field they the foreigners, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not foreigners to you guys, of course, the European. <laughs> kind of the Koreans <laughs> are the foreigners to you guys. All right, well, yeah. um... Who do you okay? Like honestly, goodness, like I don't want to get favorites picked here, but like, you know, there was a lot of it was a lot of back and forth today, right? Like, you know, we had the two O's, two O's, two O's, two O's back and forth as we followed down the ramps. I know that uh, Kane and Dana did not uh, do the best today, but I still thought they had pretty strong games. Do they have anything yeah. they want to say about like how they played or anything like that? Um, Donna's not in the house, so I can't really ask him. <laughs> but. Sam, is there anything you want to say about your games? Um, oh, by the way, Sam is not going to get food for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give I'll give Sam the headset. Hello. Hey, what's up, Kane? Not much. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty stoked after watching you guys take this uh, that series. I'm not going to lie though. Like even if Acer won, I think I still would have been happy. It was really easy to cheer for both of you guys because uh, everyone on my yeah. insanity course is lovely. My question for uh, Penguin is okay. You know what? It kind of sucks. You ended up getting two out on your team whatever your team still won in the end my question to you is after your series was being played you know there's a little bit of bm going on there's a lot of chatting was there anything you would have changed with the way you played that series out uh i don't know like i've been practicing a lot of zvt and uh zvp recently because there's a lot of tournaments coming up so i haven't had too much time to prepare for zvz and going against acer i knew that they had a lot of zerg so i probably should have practiced more zvz but in all honesty i'm uh, I'm I'm happy with how things went. Not in my games, obviously. So I probably would have prepared a bit more CVZ. That's the only thing I would have changed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, you have any words for like the fans or anything before you give the microphone back to uh, Penguin? I guess <laughs> try to get through everybody uh, here real quick. Well, big shout out to Jachi and Stardust because they did really well, obviously. And uh, thank you for everybody for supporting us and. Shout out to our sponsors, Bison and Esports Clothing. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. I guess we'll uh, try and get Penguin back on and, try and segue over to Stardust sure. and Jackshi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should probably pause the music there. Hi, Rifkin. Hey, so <laughs> the first question we have actually comes from, I believe, a teammate of yours, Jade. Um, oh, no. The question is, how many Chachis were raised in the team house as he was finishing up the series? Um, only one, because I was the only one watching his computer. Everyone else was on the stream and didn't know what was happening yet. <laughs> Fair enough. I actually missed the question for Kane, because this just came in, so you don't need to give him a heads up, but maybe we can ask him. We have Mr. Prodigious asking, any, any tips on how to grow such a badass beard? Sam, any tips on how to grow such a badass beard? Be from Quebec or be Italian? <laughs> Italian? Yeah, Italian. Oh, that's a great tip. Like, what, okay, let me just go to the store. I'll go buy some Italian and lay it on me later. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the question. For, here's the first question we have for Josh. He's coming from Twitter. Again, guys, if you want your questions asked, do it through uh, Twitter. It's the best way to read through that. There's too much going on in chat. Um, right. Hula Bulo asks, did Josh decide to two racks nurture you after the BM of game two, or was that just like something planned for game number three? <laughs> Jack G. So when you two racks? Yeah, two barracks? Get him on camera um, if you can. Come, come. So when you two barracks, 
Uh, did you do before uh, because of BM or? Uh, no, no. I think he knows us. Hello. Hello. Uh, I think he never never knows such. He never. Sorry, what? He never noticed. Okay. You <laughs> no, 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 no such. I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, okay. um, another quick question I have for you, just before you give the headset back. You are such a good player. Your ladder record is insane. You, like, never lose. It, do, you, do you use magic? Do you just practice a lot? Like, how do you be so good? Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, give Stardust is translating. Give us a sec. <laughs> okay, I overcomplicated the question. I was just yeah. basically asking. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe Europe so easy. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh! <laughs> Europe better stop, uh, drop, and roll. It just got burned. <laughs> uh. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I just, I think I overcomplicated the question. I was just asking how he's such a badass, basically, because <laughs> he is pretty, pretty darn good. Um, for you, Penguin, actually, I actually have a question. We don't have anything directly oh, from cool. Twitter coming just yet, but um, so your role is like, you know, you cast WCS, you play games, obviously, and you go to land events, and you help organize the team. As far as being a team captain goes, where did your role come into the actual games today? Um, Basically, between myself and our manager, Scooter, we just decide who plays in what order. Uh, it, it's a lot less work for this format because we just kind of set an order and we don't know the maps, we don't know anything like that. It's just like, we set an order and that's just, we're matched up against their order. So there's a lot less work involved in the ESL Euro Series side of things. So more comes into effect when we have like an all-kill match. So like, if we're playing like Cascade Team League or if we play like ATC qualifiers, then obviously we'll have spur-of-the-moment decisions like who... Like, uh, who plays when, what the maps are going to be, how confident do the players feel against this player, or et cetera, et cetera. Stuff like that kind of comes into effect in those kind of a clan war, and uh, those clan wars as well. But there's there's a lot less work for ESL Euro Series. All right, that's cool. Um, I got a question for Stardust in a second, but the question for you here just came in from Twitter. This is actually a good one, and this is not like a plug, guys. Uh, here, I'll put this on the like, screen for a sec. I legitimately have this question on Twitter. <laughs> Rift Games, can you please ask where they can buy my insanity gears? Oh, God. Um, so we get this question so much because shout out to our sponsors, Esports Clothing. They made us really awesome jerseys. Like, seriously, I love our jerseys, and a lot of people seem to like them. Unfortunately, we're really, really, really slow in getting our shop set up, but apparently, uh, Domi, the guy who's setting it up, has had a breakthrough or something, and it should be soon, TM, by Blizzard standards. Soon, TM, okay. <laughs> I like that. Um, what do you think you can pull Stardust right. on? We gotta ask him a couple questions here. Stardust. Try and get the whole team involved. We have, uh, one or two questions for you. I'll just pass the headset to him. Hey. Hello! Hello! Hello. So, uh, a quick question I have for you before we talk about real stuff. You know, mm -hmm. you really kicked off My Insanity by winning DreamHack. Like, I think that really put My Insanity on the map. Ever mm -hmm. since then, you know, you've been in the team house. You got Jokshi to come join the team. You've got this awesome dynamic. Do you feel like you're um, like one of the more important people on the team, or do you just see yourself as like a, another good player? What's your question? <laughs> like, okay, do you see yourself as being like one of the core members of my insanity? Like, because you're still fairly new, uh. but you're also really, really good. So do you see yourself as being one of the more core members of the team? Or are you just like, you know, you just play good and that's all you care about? Mm, I think now in our team, core member is Jackie, but I'm just supporting him. And then I'm also not bad player. So just keep doing my best. Just support Jackie. That's all. <laughs> well, you're a good player. Don't don't uh, don't doubt yourself. You're of course really good, and results have proved this. So my question for you today is, uh, you know, the matchup you had versus Bly. All right, so yes. we're talking about the game versus Bly. Um, you ended up going 2-0. Bly's a really strong player. Were you scared of anything, or were you just like, all right, if I do lots of aggression, I can shut him down? Mm, before start to my game, Bly said he want to he don't want to streaming um, showing uh, my. Uh, his game because he have a WCS challenger match with uh, Daisy, so I'm just realized he don't he don't try his best, so ah. it looks easy. 
That's actually really smart. I would, I never would have considered that. So obviously, yeah, yeah WCS coming up has got uh, some important stuff. Are you worried? Like you've got, you know, you're going to be playing in WCS and stuff and other team leagues, and you've been bouncing around Europe. Do you ever get scared about showing your builds? Um, before I have pretty confidence for, to myself, so I'm just showing all my thing. But now I'm just realized European is pretty good, so I need to hide my something special. Secret weapon. or strategy, yes. So now I don't streaming, I don't streaming, and then I don't showing my best in the small, small tournament. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I used to watch your stream a lot. I'm a little, I'm sad that you don't stream anymore, but I understand. Um, do you have any final words for the stream, your fans, anything like that? Hmm. No, maybe <laughs> in final. Should be very easy because mm. we have Jack G. Tia is nothing. Oh, shots fired. Stardust confirming he is a badass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Love it. All right, uh, well, I didn't exactly get a whole influx of Twitter questions. A lot of them are kind of repeated of what fine. we already asked, so I'm not going to bombard you with the same questions again. Just, um, I guess, a final congratulations. Do you have anything you want to talk about as like team manager or anything? or? Yeah, not particularly. Um, we have our next, our last match. The finals is going to be against Mouse Sports. Uh, they're really scary in this tournament. Well, well, apparently I mean, not Stardust deer. says deer is nothing, but yeah. <laughs> actually, deer lost to Starbuck today, so I don't know. But oh yeah, I heard uh, about overall, that. like they have Mouse Sports has a really good record in this tournament. This is the third season of this tournament. They've been in the finals every single time. So, but their their record isn't in wins; it's in finals appearances, and they've already reached the finals, so they can just stop there. They don't have to try their best because they've already they've already continued their streak. So fair point. I'm, you, it's not I'm not not too worried. Well, I was gonna say like I, I know you guys talked about like you set your lineup and they don't do anything after that, but like um you know are you gonna be talking with like Wake or the manager of Mouse or anything and be like all right <laughs> you know let's set these matches up or are you just gonna wing it and hope I for the best? It. Well, uh, Wake, Wake and I are both we're pretty good friends. Um, we get along very well. We talk a lot, and we both really like winning. We both really <laughs> want to win this. So, so it's safe to say I, competitive. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be anything like, oh yeah, let's let's organize Jockey versus Deer because well, that's probably gonna be the ace match anyway. But um, I don't know. It's it, it should be a really really good match. Um, they yeah. the uh, Mouse Sports players overall like Hasselwabs is playing pretty well. Uh, Vortex is always a force to be reckoned with as well. So it should be a really good match, but. Oh, we can definitely take it. I, I I think it's actually a bit of a 50-50 split. All right, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully, I can get my fingers into cast it, but I imagine they'll probably want the finals for themselves with ESL. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it was we'll a, it was a, it was an honor casting you guys today. Um, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for jumping. In. Yeah, yeah, we really... had some sick membership, like 8K combined at one point. I think during yeah, that but... second Jock Nurgio game. Yeah, between all the series. I know because like you were just kind of like, hey, by the way, you want to cast like this game series like on Monday? I'm like. Okay, I guess. Like, <laughs> so it's fun for me yeah. to at least jump in there for it. Um, but I guess that's about it. Um, I don't know. There's no more questions coming in. So okay, actually, one last question. One last question coming in. Oscar okay. Frank's Kane at ch uh, on Twitter asks, "What is Penguin's favorite Elven King song?" Ooh, that person knows me well. Shout I don't out even to the guy who knows Elven King. They are my favorite metal band. A uh, longtime favorite of mine. I don't have a favorite song. They're so good. Uh, if I had to choose one, I don't know, man. They're so good. I'm going to go with Pagan Purity because it was the first song that I heard of theirs, and it's always been a really good song. I don't know. It's, it's so many. It's just so many. That guy has to tweet at me what his favorite song is by them. <laughs> okay, you heard it, uh, Oscar and L. If you want to get to bro out with Penguin, you could do it over music. Um, I guess that's it though. I'm, again, guys, I know I'm not like an interview. We just kind of did this impromptu because Penguin was like, "Oh, we're so excited, we won." I was like, "Hell yeah, we can get some people to talk on the stream." That's why I normally have Gillyweed around for this. Just saying, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's got it for questions. Any final any final things before we take the stream or go or? Uh, no. I mean, just shout outs to our sponsors, Bizon and Esports Clothing. I know we already plugged them a bunch of times, but they are kind of what allows us to do what we do. And a uh, shout out to all of our players, especially Stardust at Jockji, who carried us so hard today. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking for it. I hope we can use A-Bomb in the finals, because he's been prepping super hard for Happy, so he didn't want to get the get up matched up against the Terran and have to show his builds, because we obviously didn't know that the Terrans wouldn't be playing. 
Um, and everyone, please watch WCS Challenger tomorrow. Not so much because I'm casting it, but because A-Bomb is playing the opening match against Empire Happy, and he needs all the support he can get. And, uh, I mean, he's the underdog, but I think he can do it. So it should, it should be a pretty good day of WCS starting off with A-Bomb beating Happy. I hope. You know, for those who don't know who A-Bomb is, by the way, he's Irish. He's got that sexy accent thing going for him. So it's really easy to fall in love with the guy. <laughs> Yeah, and if you don't come cheer for him, he also uh, he does Thai boxing, so uh, he may come and uh, pay you a what? visit if you don't cheer for him. That's kind of a random, uh, <laughs> random hobby, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the stream. Thank you very much, Penguin, for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and hang up the Skype call now so we don't show your Skype on right. the stream by accident. Take care, Thank friend. Thank you so much for casting and for having us on for a little interview. And, uh, yeah, best of luck to you and Base Trade in the future. <laughs> All right, <laughs> later, dude. See ya. All right, guys, for me, that wraps up the cast today. I'm going to squeeze in some ads here to end the broadcast, but we are 100% done. Uh, big shout-outs to the Mind Sanity Boys for coming on, and my apologies for the terrible interviewing skills. <laughs> this is why I normally get Gillyweed set up ahead of time. This was rather impromptu. Um, thank you for those of you who tweeted your questions to get these involved with the My Insanity Boys. Uh, again, really cool people, and I've been friends with the team for a long time, so I'm really glad to see them doing well here, and best of luck to them in the finals, of course. Hard to cheer for them versus Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports, though. <laughs> Deer apparently has Stardust gunning for him, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, one last shout out about everything today. Uh, of course, if you check down below the stream here, we don't have sponsors here on Base Trade TV. I'll do the subscriber shout outs after the commercials are done, so if you want to hear some cringeworthy love, you can stick around for that. But if you scroll down on our Twitch page, guys, we do have one thing that is uh, not really a sponsor, but a, a benefit to us. If you see the G Fan 40% off, that link down there, that widget, that's first off safe to click. It's not going to take you anywhere malicious. It's a store that we are in partnership with on the website, uh, it's, it sells video games for discounts. It's usually just like Steam keys being rebundled. Uh, we get a small percent, we get like 20% commission. It's actually really nice on uh, things you guys buy off of that site. So if you're looking for video games, you're bored, check it out. Do us a favor, buy it from there. Aside from that, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And beyond all that, just hit the follow button. Come back for more StarCraft in the future. We got a lot more coming down the week. We got the Kaspersky King of the Hill Arena. We've got uh, the Zotac Monthly Cop. We got a lot of other stuff on the way. And not to mention our own show matches come February. Again. It was a lot of fun casting today. We'll toss it to some ads. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, everyone who's taken off. Bye-bye.